Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I love making everything that has to do with junk journals and if this is something you enjoy too, please subscribe. And speaking of subscribers, I have a Fine Putter and Subscriber giveaway. A shout out to Elsa, Christine, Maybelline, Robin, Patricia, Susan, Joyce, and Ricky. I appreciate each and every one of you. Today guys, we're going to try some gel printing. I have noticed that <clears throat> People are, um, are starting to do this. I know they've been doing it for a while, but now it's kind of coming back around again. And I would like to try it in some different colors that I've seen being done. So I am going to open up this um, acrylic paint that's called Territorial Beige. And let me get my scissors and get this opened up. I don't claim to be an expert on this. I am very far from that. So, with that said, if you've never tried this before, give it a go. I mean, it really is quite fun. And you never know what you're going to get. Each time it's so different. And we're going to be using magazine pages. I'm just trying to get a little bit of a paint on here. I don't want to get too much. I'll take my brayer. I have not cleaned my, my um, jelly pad. I've been playing this morning for a little while before I decided to turn the camera on and uh, do something a little different on my channel today. We can turn these into tags and pages in our junk journal. So I was thinking of spring colors, earthy colors, garden colors, and I was working with um, the greens and a little bit of yellow. I am trying this brown. I haven't tried that this morning yet, um, but we're gonna give it a go, like I said. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. So I'm just going to lightly put this on. I think I need just a tiny bit more right over here on the edge. And um, then, um, that's my dog if you heard that. Stop that, Judgy. <laughs> He's dreaming. I might have to make him leave. He's laying on the floor. And he dreams a lot. He's making funny noises. Okay, guys, so I went and I collected some pages out of my books. I've got this pretty one, and there's this one. I've got this one, and this one. I've got all different kinds. So, oh my goodness, that's enjoying me. He's so dreaming. Judgy, stop that. <laughs> Let's try this one. This one looks like fun. So, we're going to just lay it down on here like this. And we're just going to smooth it out. This isn't hard at all. Um, you just have, to, just have to be brave and try it, because that's what I did. And you get like, this is so much fun, and you just keep doing it and doing it. And uh, I'll show you the things that I came up with earlier. So... You're wanting this to transfer and leave it on a lot of the image on the jelly plate. That's kind of what you're after. But you can also use this as well when you get done. That is really quite beautiful, those herbs that are hanging. That can be easily used in a journal tag or a um or a book page or you know whatever you want to do with it so now i'm going to put down a cream an acrylic cream i'm not cleaning my brayer off i am going to leave it on and i'm just going to apply this so it is freezing cold out there today the sun is shining. It, it is very beautiful sunshiny day, but it is pretty blistering and it's windy. So winter is still here. So now I'm going to take a just a regular piece of paper that you put in a copy machine and I'm going to lay it down and smooth it out. And we'll see what we come up with. Now, like I said, each one's different. Some turn out spectacular. 
some not so much, but every single one of them you can use in some creative way. So we're going to lift this off. And there you go. Looks like I've got a bubble on my pad, which I'll have to get that out later tonight by putting a piece of paper on it and sitting it on some books. But that's very pretty. Look at that. That's very pretty. I'm going to show you some of the other ones I did earlier. I did this pretty green one. I did this yellow and green one. Isn't that beautiful? And then there's this one. So pretty. And there's this one. Look, this has the flower pots. You can see the flower pots and the, the little hand shovel and the trowel and the dirt with the tipped over pot and the the um, rosemary plant right here. That that's beautiful. Alright, let's let's give us a go on another one. Put that right over there and let's lay down some green. I really think I like the green better. I used that earlier and I think it I like it better than the brown I think. So let's give it a go and try this. So I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, and if they're not, then I hope that day turns around for you very quickly. So we've got this applied. I think that's a very nice amount of ink on there. And look at some of the other pictures that we have. We have this cathedral. We have these pictures of botanicals. Ooh, you want to try that one? Let's give it a go. Okay, and we're just going to lay it down, smooth it out, just like this. So look through your old magazines and um, find yourself something you'd like to, to try. Now you can also try this on a piece of glass, although it will turn out different. It won't have the same look, but you can. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of the white. I'm hoping that gets dry a little bit. I'm going to let that dry for just a second. Alright, I think it has dried enough that we can go ahead and apply a little bit of this cream. Why I was waiting for that to dry, I found my David Austin book and I think we'd like to try a page out of that as well. I think that would be a lot of fun. Now, the shiny pages of a magazine seem to work very well. Um, I personally have not tried a non-shiny page yet. Um, I have seen that a lot of people do um, pages and the, the print stays on the jelly plate, which really turns out pretty. So we might have to try one of those. Like I said, we're just a plan. So now we're going to lay down our plain sheet of paper. Have I run out? Oh, I need to grab some. Alrighty, and I have my plain sheet of paper. And I am going to put it right on top and smooth it out so that the paint gets stuck to the paper and in doing so when I pull it off it will show the imprint so let's let's give it a try oh you guys this one's really pretty you can see the picture of those flowers oh that's beautiful that's beautiful here it is when it was covered in after we put it on the green and then we added the white the cream and look at that now oh that's beautiful let's do one more let's go ahead and put the green down once again we're not going to clean this plate off because um, this might lift right up the next time we put our paper on and that's what you want you want the things to lift off and 
make something new and different. So here we go. Almost got this on. Now, I went ahead and I've got these pictures out of my David Austin book. Oh my, look at that one. Let's go ahead and um, let's try this one because there's a bright yellow and a bright pink and some purple. So let's give this one a go and see how this turns out. Just put this right down. And get this to adhere to the, the paint, to adhere to the paper. I found my jelly pad on sale at Hobby Lobby. I was very lucky because I was thinking about ordering one, but I'm very glad I didn't. I got it in town. Alrighty, so that left a lot. You can still see the flowers through there. That can be used. That will be beautiful. Tags, even a book page maybe. Now let's go ahead and add our cream to this. There we go. I hope that wasn't too much. It's kind of a lot. Alrighty, we're ready for our white copy paper. You can use all kinds of paper. All kinds of paper. You do not have to use white copy paper. Now let's pull it up and see what we have got. Oh, it's beautiful, guys. Look how pretty that is. That is so pretty. Oh, my. And look what's left. Oh, goodness. That's going to be a beautiful creation right there. Oh, my. Let's do something fun. I know that one I said will be the last one, but let's try something fun. Let's add a little bit of that golden yellow to it. Oh, my goodness. We're adding golden yellow all right. I've got to get a little bit of that off. That was way too much, Kathy. Okay. That came out faster than I anticipated. Okay, some golden yellow. So beautiful. All righty. What are we going to try with this one? Um, where are my pages again? Here we are. I'm going to try this one. Let's, let's try this one with the yellow even. Well, I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't put yellow with yellow. I have no idea. Uh, like I said, I have no idea. Let's try the one with a lot of words and the lavender flowers. Let's give that a try. Okay. Here we go again. I just want this to be so much fun. Okay, guys, we'll pull this up here, get the corner. I'm going to pull it up. Oh, wow. Oh, we got some print. We got some words. And we've got the lavender flowers. Look at there. That's pretty. That's very pretty. I love that yellow. It, it looks gray now with the words. That would be a beautiful tag. Okay, sorry about the reach. All right, now we're going to put a little bit 
of the cream. You can say the see the word lavender right there. Oh, <laughs> you guys, this one's really good. Is it dry enough to do this? I'm hoping. I'm hoping so. Let's give it a shot. Okay. All right. All right. Let's try this. I need to get myself a couple of different brayers. Oh, that's that rolling thing. They call it a brayer. So that I don't mix my colors so and I can keep them separated a little better. But so far I'm not complaining with the results I'm getting. I'm enjoying this so much. All right, let's get our plain piece of copy paper and let's put this down right like that. This one's exciting to me. We got words. I'm hoping we get words. I hope it picks up. Come on and pick up. Come on. We have got words. Look at that. Oh, that's going to be beautiful in a spring journal. Don't you think, guys? Oh, you guys, I am so glad you joined me. And I'll look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Bye, guys.